Hello. Hi, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good Hello. Evening. Hello, good evening. Sorry that I'm kind of uh, a little late over here, but I'm not here. <laughs> how are you today? Good. Good, excellent. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good how are you? Good evening. I'm good driving evening. this moment and only listening in the class. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Luis. Uh, thank Thanks you. Be careful. For your okay, uh, thank you. And get well to your house. Okay, so, um, so are you ready? Yeah. Yes? Okay. So, uh, classes, let's see. Uh, today is Friday for us, right? Because um, it's the last, the last, the last class of the week. Yeah, it's Friday. Yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a Thursday. It's a Thursday though, but um, but uh. For us, it's the last class of the week. Okay, so thank you very much for being here. I'm very happy. Please, I'm begging you, help me with your cameras, Ruth. Uh, hey, David, thank you. Rebecca, how are you? And hi, uh, Isabel, nice to see you. Isaura, good to see you. Nubia. Glendy, Renato, how are you? And Claudia Maria, how are you? How are you, teacher? I'm good, uh, uh, Claudia Maria. Thank you for asking. How are you? Fine, thank you. Ah, okay, good. Thank you, thank you. Raul Antonio, how is everything? Ah, okay, you say hi, teacher. <laughs> and uh, uh, Natalie, how are you? Doing okay? Let's see, I got like four uh, presentations over there. Ah, uh, teacher, I'm working. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, Ruth. Um, Natalie and this, okay. Be careful, okay. So thank you, uh, Natalie. And uh, let's see who else uh, Ruth is working. Natalie, Marco, Daniela, Mercedes, how are you? Nice picture. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> help me thank with you. your, uh, th thank you. Uh, help me with your camera, please. Okay. So guys, uh, why do I say hello to, try to say hello to each other? I really nice that we interact with each other. We identify ourselves, so that's why, and become and because of and also it's important to become familiar with each other. You with me, well, you know me very well, so but you know me very well. So that's maybe today you can. Oh, teacher didn't uh, shake his face, but anyway. So we are, um, we start working. Okay, what is the topic that we were studying yesterday? Uh, what is the topic that we have been talking about, guys? Tell me. Uh, Jerome. Ah, Jer 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 yeah, Jerome's praises. And talking about what? Talking about what? Talking about? Discussing. Jobs, right? Jerome phrases are subjects in uh, opinions about jobs. Yes, that's we have been talking about phrases, Jerome phrases. And uh, we're just going to see, let's, let me see the slides because it's important that we 
finish with this one. Okay, well, already we have this one, but uh huh. Okay, so German phrases or subjects are discussing us about uh, teachers. We're going to. No, here. Okay, this one is, uh, I, I just played this one to play it. So gerund phrases are subject. What is the subject on the, on the gerund phrases? What is the subject uh, on the first sentence that on the, on the gerund phrases are subjects? What is the subject? Being a teacher is. Uh, being a, a, a teacher is. Designing clothes, uh, designing clothes. Being a fly attendant, writing a gossip column, directing a TV show. Those are the subjects. And look at the other part. Gerund phrases as objects. Which one is the object? Being a doctor. Uh, being a doctor, being a fashion designer. So we just, uh, so on the first part of the sentence, uh, let's take uh, uh, designing clothes. So, so designing clothes is the, the subject, but on the second part, uh, on the second part, it becomes the object of the sentence, a fashion designer. So that's the object, but we use the, uh, we use uh, B plus ING. So uh, being a flight attendant becomes is the object, the subject, and then it becomes the object, being a flight attendant, and so on. So uh, we're not going to stop over here because we need to check on suffixes and comparis comparisons also. We already see this one. So notice over there that the, the singular subject is voted as an important responsibility. That's the singular subject, voting and choosing. In another way, in other words, gerund phrases as the result of a sentence, as the subject, gerund phrases, boring choose is the subject of a sentence, being a fly attendant, that's the subject. And then the uh, object is becomes in, improving. So the, I suggest improving our school. That's the verb, we have a verb and then the object. Enjoy, I, I enjoy working with people. So me, for example, I enjoy working with my students. So that's the uh, working is the object. It's, you see it over there. We saw yesterday, here we stop. So, and we can say, and we can say gerunds, let me. Ah, okay, thank you very much, Claudia, for letting me know. That's important. But you're there, that's important. I hope that you get better. So, object of the preposition. Uh, gerund as object of the preposition. Is usually, but not always, the noun or the or the pronoun immediately to uh, to the right of the preposition. Example, I should have an example over here. Yeah. Ah. 
the same thing, reading that one. A short, I'm missing the S. There is an example. Leslie got into trouble for, for what? Talking to Sarah. Talking to Sarah. So the, the, we use adjectives as, uh, we use adjectives, uh, for example, for, at, in, on, uh, about, uh, between, and um, between others. Uh, no, no, no between others. Between others is other. Uh, so the object, the, so, uh, the, the prepositions are from, for, at, in, on, about. Okay, I got another another over there. What is the sentence? I'm interested in getting a new computer. Uh huh. Every time at the preposition, but I'm not always. So we got the ing or the or uh, or the verb. I think I got another one. I know that's the 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 word order. Ah uh, yes, but it's the word order. But it says that the as the object of a preposition. I am in I am interested. What is it? What is the preposition? The preposition is in. In the preposition and interested in being a fly attendant. So that's become the object. Okay, uh, just write take notes of this one, but uh, make it make it briefly, make it shorter one, and we'll see some other examples. So the object preposition guy is the one after the the after the after the preposition. I'm sorry. For example, I can say also, I am interested in getting a new job or or I can say Leslie got into trouble on uh, for talking to Sarah.
Can we continue? Yes, teacher. Okay. Everybody? Yes. Okay. Okay, there you have some sentences over there. For example, it says this one. Uh, working as an architect will be really rewarding. So we have some phrases over there. It says, look at the gerund phrases in column A. Write your opinion in each of the job by choosing information from column B and C. Uh, number one, working as an architect it will be really rewarding. For me, for example, I can say uh, working as a teacher, uh, a, a working as a teacher sounds fantastic. What would be number two? Taking care of children sounds uh, very challenging. Yeah, very challenging. Yes, yes. I have <laughs> some. I have someone else in the group and the other group is like, "How was your day?" Well, it, it's been hard. So because I'm taking care of the of the children, and yeah, taking care of the children would be uh, uh, very challenging. Very or difficult. could be. Uh huh. Try to write sentences. Uh, I'll give you just a couple of minutes, like uh, like like five, uh, four minutes, because I cannot give you too much time. Winning the lottery, the lottery. This topic is really easy. What what would you match? Ah, and remember another way to taking care of children. What other work can we use? Taking care of children? Taking care of kids. Uh -huh. Seems very difficult. Uh, seems very difficult. You're saying there are different ways to say this one. So this uh, task is uh, not that uh, challenging. Well, every, uh, at this level that we are using. Uh, winning the lottery, um, what would you say? Sounds fantastic. Sound fantastic. Ooh. Man, what can I do? What will I do with a, a, a lot of money? At least I'm not a lot of money. Uh, sound fantastic. Another way? Winning, winning the lottery sounds um, pretty. Uh, Oh, or use another word because uh, uh, I, I didn't see the name. It says winning the lottery sounds fantastic, but can we can we use another expression over there? Win the lottery uh, sounds pretty difficult. Mm, sounds pretty difficult, or or must be difficult as well. Also, uh huh. Okay, but uh, can we? Fascinating. Ah. Yes, it's, it's winning the lottery seems fascinating. Uh, winning the lottery must be fantastic. You see, you can you can say it this way. What about number four? Conducting an orchestra. Could be pretty difficult. Yeah, it could be very difficult, yes, because orchestras are very huge. I saw one in Mexico like a, uh, like three years ago. Man, <gasps> Mexico City was huge, the orchestra. But it was the music was really fascinating. Working on a movie set.
working on a movie set. Working on a movie set would be fantastic. Would be fantastic. Would be fantastic, yes. Another way? Would be a study too. I'm sorry? Would be, would be a study too. I cannot hear you very well. I think you're breaking up, Carlos. But, no problem. Okay. But uh, write your sentence on, on the child. Remember that you can write your sentence on the child. I think you're on the right way. I think you're on the right way, but I, I w was not able to listen very well. Okay, and what about the other? Making a living as an artist. Making a living as an, as an artist. What would you say? It would be very challenging. It will be very challenging. In fact, it is. Do you know something about it? It is challenging. It is pretty difficult. You know, pretty difficult. It's not so easy. Another way that you can say that? If everything is okay, you will say? What about writing for a newspaper? Uh, write a couple of sentences. Don't write all of them. Just like three, four sentences. If it is something meaning good that we say in over here, no problem. Writing for a newspaper. For me. Uh, remember that this is uh, we are talking about jobs and personalities. Okay, is it uh, the job or the things that you do is because of your? It depends a lot on your personality. For me, writing for a newspaper must be really bo uh, what is a boring? A uh, kind of boring. Okay, for me because I can be uh, sitting on the desk. To write, yes, yes. I yeah. like to be with people. I like to fight with my students. Uh, one moment we get upset to each other, but at the moment later, we're happy to each other. That's the thing. For me, it's, I'm not the kind of person who's been sitting all the, all the time, but some people like it, and I respect that. Uh, retiring at at age of 40, what will be? Is Aura? What, what do you think of retiring at age of 40? What would you say? Is seen? Maybe uh, could be fascinated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, you know, uh, uh, people in the United States, the police force, the federals, the FBI, the army, the army people, they retire at age of 40 or less. So, and and they, I guess they have a, for me, it would be a, a kind of boring though, even though I like to start. So this is not a, a very, a very challenging thing. So these phrases you can say, in a different way, in as long it sounds very good. As you notice, we were saying the same thing, but in different different uh, phrases, gerund phrases. Okay, so uh, we're going to jump. Ah, for example, me, I wrote uh, taking an international uh, test. Sa sounds fascinating for me. Okay, so because I will be able to you know, to prove that I'm very good at, but every day we learn. If like my good friend says, oh, no le puse, no le puse. Okay. 
Okay, the word power, guys. What is the word power over there? What are we talking about? Ah, retirement for it will be really rewarding, yes. Uh -huh. Exactly, we're uh, retiring at age of 40 will be fantastic, yes. Okay, we're talking about suffixes. I'm sorry, the, I'm supposed to uh, occult this. Suffixes, what are the suffix? E-R, O-R, I-S-T, and I-A-N. And what is a suffix? A suffix? A could you read the at the, the end of the word and change the meaning of it? Yes, at the end of the word changing the meaning of uh let's see if I have yes. An agent, uh, agents, noun, some uh someone or something that does or is related to the base word example. For example, teach, what is what is teach? Is it a verb or a noun? It's a verb. It's a verb. If I say teacher, what will become? It's a noun. It's a <laughs> noun. So it's a noun. So if, uh, uh, for example, travel is a verb. If I said traveler, what will be? It's a noun. It's a noun, and, and what is the definition of traveler? A traveler is a person that travels a lot. A person who travels a lot, like, in a simple way, okay? So, for example, uh, what is the word? Create, but it's missing the E over there, okay? Uh-huh, and what is, uh, what is uh, uh, create is a? It's a verb. Verb. Yes, if I say creator, that becomes a noun. No. A noun, a noun, an agent. So, for example, I am the creator of this presentation. Okay, visit is a verb, and and uh, a noun. It becomes a noun when. When asked. Uh, the finishing the uh, uh, or so we say or, visitor yeah. mm -hmm. and what is a visitor uh, a short definition uh, yeah a person who comes to my house and visit me um simple so guard is a is a verb and how it becomes a noun and who is the now? The guardian, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Library. And what is a library? It's not a bear. What is a library? Seems like librería, but I don't know. Yes, yes, no. yes. Uh, a place you, uh, right with with a I and, and yes. it goes with a Y. Exactly, there. but there are some things like uh, like a place like library. So that is the place where you buy where you uh, you get books books or as and librarian is the the person that works the, the person who works on the at the library yes so so fixes are not so uh, it's uh, so fixes are not so complex i mean it, it is complex uh, uh, but it's easy you say oh uh, a teach a teacher a run uh, i mean run what will be the the er run Runner. 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 Yes, they are. So 
run, runner. So that's the suffix. So er changes the meaning of the sentence. Or changes the mean. No, the, sorry, sorry. Not the sentence. The word. It can be a noun. It can be like like library is a noun. It's not a verb. But if we say librarian is the person who works over there. Uh, vocal. And, and I began the vocalist. Vocalist. So, <laughs> totalmente cuadrado. <laughs> uh, music. Okay. I have my skills on English. Not, not. I'm not saying that I'm the best, but I have my skill. But on music, zero. <laughs> so, do you understand the, the suffixes? More or less? Yes. Ah, yes. So, yeah, that's uh, simple. Thank you, Elia. Rebecca and David, Saul, eh, Isaura. I have uh, Nubia. Hey guys, help me with the camera. <sighs> okay, there is some exercise on you. So we have it over there. Could you and your, um, don't, don't write everything in your notebook, just, uh, uh, write the words and the correct column. We have aerobics instruct, which is aerobics instructor. We have console, we have politic, we have TV report, we have com, that's a comedy, okay? And we have gossip column, we have psychotra, uh, is missing something over there. Then we have uh, wet design. Where would you put console? Um, Consular, yes, with O-R. Those are suffixes. Of course, there are suffixes that are a little bit higher than this one. And requires, and it's a, they are a little more complex. But these ones are the most popular. Hey guys, are you working on the platform? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. I do. Okay, I will check tomorrow the yes, your your advance. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you can make the the activities uh, a, a few times, not just once, right? Because there are there are like practices. Okay, what about politic? In the last politician. one, politician. Uh -huh. politician. Yes, politician. What is a politician? Person who, yeah, who works in the politics. Yeah, well, well, who works in a politic? Uh, <laughs> who works in a politic? Who works for a party? And what do you say, partido? Though, how do you say partido? I mean, political. I don't know. And uh, it's right? like no, no, it's like it's like like Politically. when you go this one. <laughs> what is this when you go to dance? How do you call it? A birthday, for example, where party, right? 
Ah, yeah. Uh -huh. And then it's the same. A party. For example, the United States, it has only two parties, the Democrats and the, and the Republicans. There are two parties only. And what about TV report? In the, in the first one. TV reporter. A TV reporter, yes, a TV reporter. And what will be the comment? In the last one, comedian. And, and comedian, yes. And uh, I don't know. And and gossip column. The third Colonist. one. Colonist. A gossip columnist, yes. And five shit. Okay, yeah, we have to be a reporter as uh, uh, with designer, uh, aerobic counselor, uh, gossip colonist, as you said, and then we have oh, a psychotherapist, <laughs> yeah, now you can say it better. There is a P also, uh, an extra P, I uh, know, an extra T. I thought I took it out, and then we have. Uh, politician and comedian. Okay, these are the most uh, uh, common uh, suffixes. Like I said, there are others, but uh, they are they are a little complex. But these are the most popular. The 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 turn of the word. And a suffix is a word that change or a letter or a phrase, I don't know how do you call it, um, that change the meaning of the, of the base form, like TV report, TV reporter, web design, web designer. So, the, so these are, what are those? What are they? Yes, Ada, Eda. I have a question. Uh, it's a um, some rule to about the uh, uh, shows uh, different suffixes. Uh, suffixes. Oh, uh, yeah. It's uh, some. Uh, uh, si hay alguna regla, I don't know. No, it's, it's no. no, no. You were you were saying you were saying correct. You were saying correct. Yes, uh, that's the rule. That's the only the rule over there. Uh, suffix, uh, and then the 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 rule that you have add the suffix er or es and blah, blah, blah to form the names of the jobs. Okay, so what is uh they always goes at the end of the or the or the phrase or the verb or the noun. Like for example, like I said first, uh, teach uh, teach. The person, the job. What is the job? The teacher. To teach, teacher. Teacher. Uh -huh. Run. What is the the profession? Runner. 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 Uh, what else? Uh, uh, Love. So, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Love lawyer. Uh, a lawyer. Ah, yes, love lawyer. is a, a lawyer. Good, excellent. Love, lawyer. So it, it becomes from a, from a baseboard. So what is the love? The, the rules of the, of, the, of the country or, 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 the, or, the, or the system. So that's the law. But the, the person who does, who takes of the love is that? Who who uh, takes care of the love is the the lawyer. The lawyer mm -hmm. is the lawyer. So, for example, uh huh. 
Now it says, can give a definition. You will say in the definition. So uh, just write just write two or three, uh, uh, besides this one, write three more definitions. You say that instructor is someone who teaches people how to do aerobics. Uh, the TV, uh, let's say the, the web train, designer. Trainer. I'm sorry? I think the, the tra train. Uh, train and trainer. Are... Ah, ah tra to, tra uh, to train, train. Uh, and the trainer. The yes. Trainer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the trainer is the person who teaches something, a sport to someone, for example, that becomes a trainer. Oh, let me let me show it uh, a couple of more. For example, over there, there are more examples. You see the examples over there? Oh, were you taking notes? You want me to go back over here? Or is or is okay? It's okay. 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 See other examples over there with the same thing. Software develop. And then we have the software, the software, uh -huh, the software developer, project yeah. manage. Yeah. But then we have the uh, project man uh, manager, baby, the baby, baby the baby series. Who... This is like the seat, but oh. the seat, uh, like be sitting, but uh, then with double E and we are uh, ER and they say babysitter. Who is the babysitter? It's a person that take care of babies. No, it's a person that take care of babies, yes. And then uh, is uh huh, like take care of babies. So it's not their mother, it's someone else. Okay. So, and uh, if you are the mother, you know, taking care of the kids, so you're not babysitter, you're the mother. Freelance journal. And what is the, the suffix? Freelance journalist. Journalist. And who is freelance journalist? Is the person who works in the... Yeah, yeah, the worker. person who yeah. uh -huh, the person who writes um uh, um uh, uh, how do you call it uh, in on the yes. newspaper page uh, yes on the newspaper uh sections or letters like for example freelance this person doesn't work for just one newspaper it works for many in fact uh, some people from El Salvador write columns that's the correct word columns from other papers around the world okay we already have this one the dent the word is dent and what is the suffix dentist dentist okay so then we have guidance console But we say guidance counselor. Who is the guidance counselor? The person no, I, who no idea. <laughs> <laughs> the person who gives uh, advices to people or to teenagers. Um, so in the school have a guidance counselor. Okay. So they uh, they can take or the people not but they punish and they congratulate but also they 
they give uh, advices. Marketing director, and then we have act, and the and the person is the guidance counselor, the actor. So it's the uh, person who works in the movies and everything. Computer technician, politician, librarian. So those examples that were over there. So this is a suffix. Uh, it's uh, it's a phrase or letter, so it changes the meaning of the of the of the base uh, main four of the word or phrase. Uh, any questions about it? Is it clear, more or less, or is? Yeah. No, yeah? Those are the, the only ones. No, there are more. The, in fact, there are there are there are quite a lot. That, that's why I said that these are the most common, the most yeah. common frequency in, in use. Not only uh, so there are others, but they are a little complex. But these are oh. the most basic. So and the level later on when you're in advance and I have seen it on this. Uh, these materials, they, we will work with uh, the ones that are a little more complex. Don't worry, it's English is uh, like that. Yeah. Yes? I had a question about the, 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 the previous life. Uh-huh, about uh, this one? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I have a, uh, about pronunciation, what is the right pronunciation about the second uh, word? In the column IST. IST, file. <laughs> you got yes. me again. File, as file, triatris, or something like that. Is La, pronounced letter P. Uh, let, let me see. I hope that uh, that we can get it uh, real quickly. Uh, let, let me see. Works with the, the, the mind of the people, like uh -huh. uh, psychologists. Yes, psychologists. Ah, yes. in fact, I, in the, fact, the, that, that... the other uh, profession about uh, people that need need the medicine. Yes, uh, that's yeah. that's right. That's the person, yeah. uh, <clears throat> but uh, but uh, he's asking about the. Uh, the, how <laughs> we word. pronounce how we pronounce that one and uh let me see uh, psychiatrist psychiatrist must be it sounds very good it sounds very good thank you that was who was that me isaura <laughs> ah isaura yes yes thank you isaura and thank your you. pronunciation i guess it was it was the correct one. It was the best one, even mine. Um, but let me, I wanted to, okay. Um, let's see. But it's a I Let's see. Were you able to listen? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. How do you pronounce uh, Isaura, right? Uh, yeah, you were correct. Look, this is American. This is Bridges, as always. Thank you. There, there is uh, the way that we pronounce psychiatrist. Psychiatrist, yes. Let me play it again. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, this is the, this is, uh, it's called Loman Pearson uh, Dictionary. If you put it like that, it's really nice. I'm not making propaganda. 
and just saying that uh, uh, this is a, a great um, and dictionary. It gives you the, the definition very academical, so short and precisely. So if you want to use it. Okay, guys, so I get uh, you get a great tan. In this case, the conversation, yes, Rebecca? Yeah, puede poner el nombre en el chat para buscarlo. Ah, uh, yes, okay, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll do it right now. You just, uh, you just type uh, like this, Lodman. And it will appear on your on your uh, Google, but it's Longman Pearson. Then you go Longman, then you click on online and writing, and this will give you to on uh, this will take you to um, to the main uh, to the main page. Let me let me show it. Let me see if uh, well actually time is running. Let's listen to the conversation over here. But if you uh, only type uh, Longman uh, and it will appear, and then online, it take you to, to English definitions. Can hear you. Can hear that. I'm sorry. Are you able to listen? Are you able to listen? I can no. hear. No. Ah, ah, no. Okay. Ah, the sonido is not activated. I don't know what happened. Okay, let me. Page 11, exercise 7. Now are you able to listen? Yes. Yes. Okay. Conversation. You get a great tan. Part A. Listen and practice. Guess what? I found a summer job. That's great. Anything interesting? Yes. Working at an amusement park. Wow. That sounds fantastic. So, have you found anything? Nothing yet, but I have a couple of leads. One is working as an intern for a record company, mostly answering phones. Or I can get a landscaping job again. Being an intern sounds more interesting than landscaping. You'd have better hours, and it's probably not as much work. Yeah, but a landscaper earns more than an intern. And you get a great tan. Okay, uh, the learning objective, what is the learning objective, guys? To use, use, what is use comparison in a conversation. In a conversation uh, and about a, jobs. About jobs. So if you notice over there, one of the work, uh, one of the working as an inter for a record, that's comparing. Okay, another, though, which is very good, is that the one that it has, for example, uh, being an inter sounds more interesting than, so than landscaping. So it's saying that the first uh, profession is more interesting than landscaping. So we are comparing Jones over there. A landscaper earns more than an inter. So earns more money, they get paid very well. So it, what is uh, because of the time, these are the, uh, the, the comparison with adjectives. What is the first, uh, the first sentence? Is more? Interesting. Is more interesting than, let me, let me play this. Page one. 11, exercise eight, grammar focus. Comparisons with adjectives is more interesting than, is less interesting than, is harder than, 
is not as hard as with nouns has better hours than has worse hours than has more education than isn't as much work as with verbs earns more than earns less than earns as much as doesn't earn as much as with past participles is better paid than is as well paid as isn't as well paid as okay when when do we use comparisons when do we use comparisons we want to when we talk about, uh, uh -huh. uh, when we compare two things two in this case two jobs okay so um a, being a teacher is more interesting than working in an office. I'm sorry for the ones that I work in an office. I'm not meaning anything. <laughs> I'm not meaning anything. <laughs> but me, I wouldn't be sitting all day long. But it was a really tight job. So for example, no, like I said before, I I pay, I play. I mean, I fight with the kids. Then a minute later, we're happy to each other. So for example, um. Uh, I'm comparing the teacher's job with an office clerk. So um, being a teacher is more interesting than an office clerk. Um, uh, let's say that uh, uh, being, a, uh, yeah, being a police officer is harder than being a teacher. I um, mean, or anything like that. So when we use comparisons with adjectives or with nouns, is better um, a, 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 with nouns and verbs and sorry and the past participles. For example, for example, I know this is uh, something that I, all comparison are based on a structure that see the table. What is the table? More, more than. What is the other? Less than, better Less than. than, worse than, as, as, not as, as. For example, um, my house is not expensive as your house. Okay. As, as expensive as your house. Okay. Uh, my house is less expensive than your house. Uh, this is a general. Uh, uh, being a, a pilot uh, is more uh, interesting or interested than uh, maybe being a police officer, okay? Uh, being a pilot is better than another job as a dentist, for example, okay? So there are some, some examples over there. What is the examples? Number one. My opinion, being a firefighter is more stressful than being a sales associate. Yes, uh, exactly. And you can use phrases if you like, you can use in my opinion, in addition, in general, in um uh yes. actually actually uh conclusion. being a, in conclusion be a, be, in conclusion being a firefighter is more stressful than being a sales person mm -hmm. so that you can use a phrase as well there and you're comparing two things that's why we use then this is a, uh, this is a, a little more complex than the the base form okay that we that we teach at schools okay because here we use uh, 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 the English is a little height because we use other expressions like the ones that you just mentioned okay let me let me um, 
And there, and there you have an exercise. I just write uh, this one. For example, for example, an interior decorator, a fashioner, designer, paid. That's why I put the other sentence over there. What would be the most suitable way to get an interior decorator, a fashion designer, paint? Look at the phrases over there. For example, for example, uh, adjectives, or it can be no nouns. What it will be a good sentence, an interior decoration. It's not as hard as, yes, it's not as hard as a fashion. Uh, but it, the, the word in parentheses is paid, paid. You can change the word, uh, the word hard. Uh huh. More than then. No, but the the word in parentheses is paid. The past participle, the past or the simple past of of pay. Mm -hmm. An interior decorator. Is better. Paid than, uh huh, than uh, a, a better designer. Yes, there are different ways that you can say over there. So, uh, just uh, write this one. Meanwhile, I will, um, I will uh, uh, write one or two examples of this one. Meanwhile, I I play the attendance, and that was the class about it. the attendance. Please remember that you have to say present. Eh, Carlos Alberto? Yes. Martinez? Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Eh, Daniela Mercedes Méndez. Present. David Alonso Mejía Flores. Present. Eh, Eda, Eda Lisette Pineda Guevara. Present. Eh, Francisco, Present. Alexander, Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Glendy Elisa Elisette Flores. Present. Isaura Evelia Vázquez de Ponce. Present teacher. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Ah, no, Isaura, yes. Luis Fernando. Marco Antonio Quijano. Marco Antonio Quijano. Eh, Natalie Rebecca. Present teacher. Nubia Cristina Morales. Present teacher. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Oops. Rebe Rebeca Yoneli Hernández. Present teacher. Eh, Rebeca Paola Granados. Sorry, teacher, present. I can hear you. Luis Fernando Linari. Uh, no, I said Rebecca. Rebecca Paola. Uh, Luis Fernando Linari. Ah, yes, you. Thank you, Luis. Thank okay. you, and sorry. Okay, no, that's all right. Rebecca Paola and Renato Salvador. Present, teacher. Thank you for and Ruth Marielos Amaya. Present teacher. Eh, Saúl Alexander Lozano. Present teacher. And uh, Silvia Tatiana Costa. Silvia. 
Okay, guys. So thank Teacher. you very much. Uh -huh. Tell me. Eh, no me mencionó. Eh, no la mencioné. Eh, Isabo Elizabeth. Eh, thank you, Isabo. Eh, Isabo Elizabeth. ¿Cómo no? Yes, uh, I, I, okay. I mentioned and I put uh, attendance because, okay, but I saw you, I remember you. Okay, thank you very much, guys. See you on uh, next week. So thank you for being here and I hope that I have been helpful. If it's not, I work hard to do a better job. Bye-bye, <laughs> thank you. Have thank a nice you. weekend. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night, teacher. Bye-bye, thank you.